Welcome to the Mercedes Wilson Show. Today on the show, we have a very special guest. She is not only a RN and holistic nutritionist, but an author and radio host on ESPN and WDCX Radio. Stay with me as I sit with Robbie Raw. You're amazing. There'll never be another like you. Robbie Raw is the author of The Raw Truth Recharge, Seven Truths to Health and Fitness, and the radio host of The Raw Truth on ESPN and WDCX Radio. I love speaking to people that don't look like what they've been through. And you have a journey, so let's talk about it. Welcome, Robbie. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you for having me, girlfriend. I'm so excited that you're here. Um, and again, just like I said in the intro, I love, you don't look like what you've been through. Aww. I love talking to folks like you. So can you share a little bit of your testimony? Mm -hmm. um, take us back a little bit. Well, you know, I started out way back when uh, as a nurse. My mother said, do you want to be a nurse or teacher? And uh, those were the two <laughs> choices back then. Mm -hmm. And so I picked nursing. And then along with nursing, I decided to venture into the fitness industry because I felt like I was doing just sick care and I wanted to be in health care. Mm -hmm. And I was very preoccupied with my weight back then. Um, you know, what the scale said dictated whether I had a good day or bad day. And I know a lot of people. A lot know, of people can relate to that. Yes. Yeah. And, and so uh, someone made a comment about my weight um, and it kind of stuck with me and it kind of preoccupied me. So I like just went crazy in the fitness industry and was teaching like 30 classes a week. Wow. And, you know, everything was about my weight and my gene size. Well, uh, I was working my way up the ladder at Bally Total Fitness, and mm -hmm. I was working on the side as well as a nurse. And my father got cancer, and that was that was tough because we didn't expect him to get cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, it was kind of a shock to our family. But he lived a long life. He lived till yeah. 83. Uh, praise God for that. Good. And he didn't suffer or anything like that. So I'm working, traveling all over the country. Um, halfway through my career. My sister, who had been pregnant uh, two years in a row, she had two older boys, and then she was pregnant two years in a row, um, had a lump. And so we were working for one of the doctors that diagnosed her with a blocked milk duct. Ooh. And we went to another doctor, and the doctor diagnosed her with a blocked milk duct. And so I was traveling all over the country. She was a principal, and she was also working as a Lamaze instructor on the side at this doctor's office. And, um, and then I was teaching on cruises. She was with me, all this stuff. But long story short, I was on my honeymoon when I got a call the first day of my honeymoon uh, from my sister, and she had uh, been diagnosed with stage four metastatic breast cancer. Wow. So what was the time frame from the first block milk duct yeah. Until she called you. How long was that? It was two years. Wow. She had been misdiagnosed for two years. And wow. so that was just a shock because mm -hmm. we had no breast cancer in our family. My sister was beautiful. She looked beautiful. She felt healthy. Mm -hmm. um, and so long story short, uh, my mother and I took her to all the best hospitals we went to. Cleveland Clinic, we went to Sloan Kettering Hospital, we went to um, uh, Roswell, of course, mm -hmm. world-class hospitals. And she uh, she was given just you know a few months to live. Wow. And through God's incredible grace and the fact that you know she we, we did change her diet, I bought her a juicer before I was even juicing, um, my sister ended up living 10 years. Wow. Yes. Wow. So that completely was the tipping point and yeah. start of my journey from the focus of you know my my gene size mm -hmm. to really take, taking care of this temporary earth suit that I like to call it this temporary mobile home uh, spiritually and physically yeah. and uh, of course the first thing we had done is got down and prayed but she did she did change her diet yeah. and it was really through a miracle. Now you are big on diet. Yes. Um, <laughs> so how did her diet change? 
So Which, my sister, well, we were we were brought up in the dessert capital of the world, my mother's house. <laughs> and um, so we had pasta and bread and all of this stuff every day, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of carbs. And none of us were fat, but uh, we also had dessert all the time too. And so what happened was we came home from all these world-class hospitals and we got on the internet. She was educated, I was educated. And what I learned on the internet way back when wasn't in the mainstream media then, mm -mm. and it's not in the mainstream media now, nope. and that is the link between sugar and cancer and dairy and cancer. And we still don't talk about it enough. No, and obesity and cancer. And so uh, when I read that, basically, you know, she was a sugarholic, so was I. Uh, we started, you know, cutting sugar out of our diet, mm -hmm. eating more plant-based foods and she you know I bought her a juicer as I said and we started juicing and you know it was really uh, I mean I still believe that God knows the day and the hour mm -hmm. uh, and that time that she passed 10 years later was predetermined but she had a quality of life yeah. that she would yeah. not have had yeah. had she not changed her diet and um, so yeah, it's diet is so important, and when I worked in uh, sick care for so many years, I knew that 99.9% .9 of the people that were there with high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, whatever it was, cancer, could have changed their health yeah, yeah. had they changed their diet and lifestyle, and, and so it changed my whole career. Oh, I bet. Focus from fitness to yeah. nutrition and fitness, and of course, your spiritual fitness as well. And you lived it, so you know. Yes. You know, that's a part of your testimony. Oh, absolutely. Oh. And after that, I've changed so many other people's, not I, but God has changed so many other people's lives, and I've helped them by changing their diet. And we're going to talk about that because you do some things that I still kind of struggle with. Mm -hmm. So we're going <laughs> to we're gonna talk about that. Up next, Robbie and I get to talk about why your health is more important than your weight. Is that true? Yeah, absolutely. Stay with us. We'll be right back. I'm Robbie Raw. Welcome to Raw Cuts, a result-driven class designed to increase your muscle mass, decrease your body fat, and increase your energy level. You know, muscle dictates metabolism. And if you work out, you might as well look like you work out. The way you will look like you work out is if you build muscle and sculpt your body. We're going to have a great time. I know you need it. Power965radio.com, the new sound of Buffalo is a proud supporter of the Mercedes Wilson Show. Full lineup of unique program schedules. Learn more about the station's owner, Sheila Brown, by reading her new book, 29 Years of Preparation. Hi, my name is Antonius Melton. I'm the founder of Project CKC, which stands for Clothing Kills Cancer. We are a clothing line that's about more than just fashion. It was through my father's passing that Project CKC was birthed. My father's name was A.T. Melton. In 2012, he was diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer, passing away in August of 2015. This experience changed the entire course of my life. My father was a man of faith and an inspiration to many. Through my father's life, I learned that anything is possible when you believe and put your trust in God. From my father's passing, I recognized how valuable life is and to not take for granted the time that we have here. Every time I asked my father how things were going, he would always say, all is well. He had constant and unwavering faith, no matter his sufferings. There are so many struggles that people go through who are battling cancer. There is the physical and emotional trials, and then there's the financial strain. I believe that we can reduce some of that financial stress, and that's where Project CKC comes into play. We are going to resolve medical bills and prescription costs for cancer patients. Through each sale of our apparel, there is a $10 donation that's going to do exactly that. We also have an option to make a donation of any size at our website at www.projectckc.com. Please check our website out, purchase our apparel for their entire family. Now you can do more than just getting dressed. 
Our website has an application available for cancer patients to apply for assistance. So please spread the word to those in need. You can follow me on Instagram at Clothing Kills Cancer or my Facebook business page, Project CKC. If you have any questions or concerns, I can be reached directly at 716-339-4886 or by email at projectckc0425 at gmail.com. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Welcome back to the Mercedes Wilson Show. We are continuing our conversation with Robbie Raw, and she was just about to tell us something that I was a little mm, about why our health is more important than our weight. Please tell me how that's true. Yeah, well, you know, first of all, we know obesity is linked to many diseases. Mm -hmm. So, you know, our weight is important, but you know, I was always trying to lose weight to look good. And when I tried to do that, it didn't work and it doesn't work for a lot of other people. But when you focus on your health, uh, you know, taking care of this body that God gave us, which I call our temporary, or sewer, temporary mobile home, it changes a lot of different things. I believe it's a form of worship to take care of this body that God gave us. Say we, that again. It is a form of worship to take care of the body that God mm -hmm. gave us. He gave us this body. It's where the Holy Spirit dwells. Mm -hmm. And so um, really what I learned in this journey, you know, in, in dealing with my sister and, and other people is that we can change our health and we have a responsibility to do so. Um, and God gives us the food of the earth that he created to fuel and feed our body. Mm -hmm. But we live in a processed food society. We do. We do. We, we, we uh, you know, eat out of a box or a window, and that is not going to take care of this body. Uh, it does cause disease when we're not eating healthy. And how can we go out and do God's work when we're walking around sick and thick and tired? And what I've learned is people are walking around sick and thick and tired from not eating right, and they don't even know it. They yeah. think it's the new norm because they're getting older. Yeah. And I mean, I, at age I'm going to be 63 in a couple of months, still teach you kickboxing. Look thing. You look <laughs> well, thank you. It's hard getting older, but you know, I mean, I still teach kickboxing. I still teach weightlifting. I, te I teach yoga and I am healthy mm -hmm. and I don't have joint pain, although. And you have a six pack. I see the photos when you're <laughs> bragging on the beach with your husband. Yeah. I'm like, okay, right. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, again, you know, the focus is your health. Yeah. Um, and so I say to people, listen, if it comes from a plant, you can eat it. Mm -hmm. If it was made in a plant, don't eat it. What about meat? So I am a vegetarian, mm -hmm. but I do believe in bio-individuality. I feel better without meat. You may feel better with meat. Mm -hmm. All I do is, is advise my patients to make sure it's organic because you don't want to be ingesting steroids, antibiotics, mm -hmm. and hormones into your body. Although what we found through the China study and movies like Forks Over Knives is it is the protein in the animal products that's linked to disease, that's linked to cancer. Mm -hmm. And it is obesity that's linked to cancer along with sugar fueling cancer. Mm -hmm. So we don't we don't hear enough about that. We don't talk enough about that. So every day, I'm, I know I have a 50% chance of getting breast cancer, and I don't want it. So what I do is I eat healthy for health yeah, and not so much for my weight. And then, you know, being more lean is an added bonus. Yeah, and you have some really good recipes that you give people because you said that you were a big dessert family. You yeah. have some really good recipes that you give around the holiday time for folks that like to bake and they can still oh, eat yeah. healthy and yeah. Yeah, you don't want to be deprived, okay? Yeah. And you don't have to be deprived. It's really about swapping out ingredients. So I use coconut sugar instead of regular sugar. I use coconut nectar instead of honey because they're both lower glycemic. Mm -hmm. And I make chocolate chip cookies and I oh, make, you do it all. Yeah, yeah I, it all. I, I still like my treats, but I, <laughs> I swap out the ingredients. Now let's talk about your book, yes. The Raw Truth. Well, talk about the seven truths. Yeah, well, so what happened is, you know, working uh, 40 years in a gym and in a hospital, uh, I learned that it's not just how much you exercise and what you eat that makes us healthy. Really, um, I was speaking, you know, in Canada and in the U.S., and, and I was talking to people about what can help keep them healthy? And people used to say, well, do you have what you're saying written down? And I'd say, no, but I have some exercise videos. Mm -hmm. And so then I thought, okay, God, <laughs> I guess I need to write a book. Right. What should I name the book? And really he gave me these seven truths 
uh, which will help us to take care of this temporary earth suit. And of course, seven is very significant in the Bible. Mm -hmm, it means perfection. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so the seven truths that I learned from my expertise in working in the health and fitness industry 40 years is that we need to take care of our body. And what helps us do that is our faith. Number one, faith, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. our food, fitness, detox. We have to detox our body, purify our body, sleep, and stress management. Faith, family, food, fitness, detox, sleep, and stress management is all vital to our health. Now, we only have about a minute left, but I want to hit on sleep because we don't talk enough. There's, there's actually a few of them that we don't talk enough about, but sleep is big because I see a lot of people um, posting on social media or talking about, hey, I stayed up all night because I'm doing this for my business, or I stayed up all night. Like, it's a good thing, but we don't realize that we're really hurting our bodies when we don't sleep. So can you touch on sleep really quick? Oh, absolutely. It's an assault to your body. And of course, people who get less than seven hours sleep per night are more likely to be overweight, but it does affect your health. And so, you know, God commands us, be still. Uh, he slept, we should sleep. And, you know, when we're not sleeping, it's stress on our body. So sleep and stress kind of go the same mm -hmm, way mm -hmm. in that it is bad for our health. Uh, faith, family, food, fitness, detox, sleep and stress management, they are all ways that we can make our body healthy. And you can't be spiritually fit without being physically fit. And you can't be physically fit without being spiritually fit. And they all go hand in hand because really our body is all integrated. I mean, the way God made us, our our head is connected to our body. Uh, what we think is how you know we act, and it's all integrated. And mm -hmm. so those seven truths, including that sleep, is so important. And stress. Yeah. We all have stress. We just have to learn how to manage it. Yeah. Tell everybody where they can get your book, where they can contact you. Oh, well, you can get my book on Amazon.com. It just was picked up by a national publisher, Ooh, Bridge Logos, which I'm so excited about. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so go to my website at RobbieRod.com or RawTruthHealth.com. So next we get to talk about accountability. Yeah. Because we are accountable. We have to answer for our actions, Absolutely. even our health and our body. So I'm excited to talk about that mm -hmm. with Robbie Raw. So you stay with us. We'll be right back. Hope, the new book by Mercedes Z. E. Wilson, is a personal testimony of strength, determination, and faith in God helping to overcome life's struggles. Buy it in hardcover, paperback, or Kindle edition on Amazon.com today. Robbie Roy is back with information on her Raw Truth Recharge, Seven Truths to, hit, to Health and Fitness. And a lot of this we're going to find in your new book. Yes. So congratulations. Well, thank you. I'm so excited. Hey, everybody. This is Neil Bora. I finally gave up the fight and asked for help. I've struggled with my weight for years, and I finally got the right help from my dear friend, Robbie Raw. She taught me how to be healthy, how to make the right food choices, and how to exercise properly. We're talking about faith, family, food, fitness, detox, stress, and sleep management, and also soul neglect and health. It's all vital to our health. It's mind, body, soul, spirit, and that's the raw truth. And I believe that what you have to say is so important. Um, it bears repeating over and over and over again until we all get it. Welcome back to the Mercedes Wilson Show. Now let's talk accountability. We think that we can do whatever we want with our bodies, right? No, God holds us accountable and he holds us to a certain standard. So we have work to do, right, Robbie? We do. And you know, God gives us all of the instructions for everything that we need to do through life. And so the first truth in my book is faith. Mm -hmm. And faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we cannot see. Right. So if you're trying to reach something, if you're trying to lose weight or help your health or help your marriage or whatever it is, we need to have faith in God. And we can do all things through Christ right. who strengthens right. us. Right. So if you say, I can't lose weight or I can't do this, well, you know, self-control is a fruit of the spirit. Having faith in God that we can do it is is what we need to mm -hmm. accomplish anything. So faith, 
family. Mm -hmm. Family is the second truth. And uh, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Yeah. Lean not on your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge him, yeah. and he will direct our paths. And so relationships are hard. Yeah, Family is hard. Yeah. And so we, we, we can do it, though. We can get through all of those relationships. Mm -hmm. And, you know, forgiveness is hard, but we are instructed in the Bible to forgive seven times, 77 times. That's a lot of times. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> right. And we're commanded to love one another in mm -hmm. the Bible. So this is why family is an important part of those seven truths. And I just want to interrupt you for a second. I love how people wouldn't put this with health. Right. So you're kind of flipping things and saying, wait a minute, it all goes together. It's so yeah, I love that. It's not just food. It's no, not just working out. No. It's everything to make you whole. Absolutely. Yeah. Mind, body, and spirit. Yeah. So food. Food, as I said, is a form of worship to take care of our body, to eat healthy. Mm -hmm. And in mm -hmm. Corinthians 6, 19 through 20 says, do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Yeah. So Mercedes, when I I'm going to eat something, I say, is it worthy of being in my body where the Holy Spirit dwells? Mm -hmm. Is that food or whatever it is worthy of being in my temple, my temporary earth suit? And so we have to we have to think of it that way. So mm -hmm. it's important. So there's a lot of scripture about that. And then also, um, of course, whether you eat or drink, do it all for the glory of God. Yeah. So that we're not overeating and we're not doing things that we shouldn't be doing. We should be doing it as a form of worship and, and glorifying find God through whatever we do. Faith, family, food, fitness. Mm -hmm. um, in James 1, 2 through 4, consider pure joy, my brothers, when you face trials many times. He mm. talks about perseverance, yeah. about pushing yeah. through things. And my goodness, when I'm teaching kickboxing, I need to persevere, <laughs> you know? So, you know, yeah. we have to mm. finish the race. And so fitness, taking care of our body. My goodness gracious, Jesus walked billions of miles. So he was exercising too. So we need to move our body mm -hmm. and take care of this temporary. I never thought of with Jesus walking that he's exercising. Yeah, absolutely. So I needed you on this show. Yes. <laughs> it's a God thing. It's a God thing. We need to run the race. And then detox. In 1 Corinthians uh, 10 through 12, he talks about the fact that God is faithful. He will not allow us to be tempted. So when you're going through a detox, which is really eating the foods of the earth that God created and don't need to read a label on, we need, we need perseverance, but we also mm -hmm. need to know that we are not going to be tempted to go outside the lines because he will help us to, mm -hmm. you know, fight that temptation. His word tells us that. He promises mm -hmm. us that. And, of course, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And then stress, be anxious for nothing, God says. We should not be anxious. Lay your burdens down. He will carry our burdens and carry us too. Mm -hmm. And then sleep. Matthew 11 tells us, come to me, all you who are weary. Mm -hmm. And and we need to be still yeah. and know he is God. Yeah. I like the perspective that you have on these because for, for, for some of them, like James, consider it all joy. We think of trials like mental or physical. You don't think working out. So I like the, the um, perspective yes. that you put on this and it shows that God is all encompassing. He cares about every piece of us. Absolutely. I love that, I love that. Thank you. So we're almost done, but before we go, I want you to look into that camera and encourage the folks that may be watching that say, um, you know, I want to take my health more seriously. Where do I start? What do I do? Encourage them today. Yes, you know, and I know that there are people listening right now who are struggling. Maybe it's with your health issues. Maybe you're struggling with weight management. Whatever it is, I want you to, number one, know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthened you. Our flesh is lazy. Our flesh has no self-control. But with God, but God, I should say. Mm -hmm. And so that's number one, is, is you need to lean on Christ. And then the second thing, of course, is to take action. Don't try and do everything everything all at once. Change one thing a week. Maybe this week you're going to drink more water. Cut uh, half of your body weight in ounces of water per day and drink half of your body weight in ounces of water. Mm -hmm. and, and so just change that one thing. So every week you're making changes, but you're changing one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. And don't get discouraged. If you go outside the lines, just get back in the lines. Don't feel bad about it. Don't spiral downward because we are not perfect. Only God yeah. is perfect. Thank you, Robbie. You're Thank welcome. you for coming on the Mercedes Thank Wilson you. show. Thank you for having me. Ah, I'm so excited. This is this is good stuff. We will be right back with the Mercedes moment. Stay with us.
Wardrobe for the Mercedes Wilson Show was provided by Clothes Mentor in Tonawana, New York. Grade A looks for less. Today we're reading from Romans 14 and 12. So then each one of us will give an account of himself to God. Today we talked about health and this is a topic that while many care, a lot of us don't. I myself am guilty of not taking care of my health at times. I was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer at the age of 28 years old. I know the price that one could pay for not keeping up on their health. My doctor taught me a valuable lesson when she demanded that I go and get that mammogram that saved my life. We have to give account for our lives to God himself, our words, deeds, actions, everything. Let's take some time today and think about an area in our lives that we can improve on, an area that you want to stand before God and say, I did my best to please you in this area. Health is so much more than physical, and loving ourselves is so much more than what we wear. The greatest commandment is love. Love God and love your neighbor as yourself. That's big. You have to know self-love before you can love anyone else. Love your family, love your friends, show love to those you don't know. And right under God, love yourself. Take care of yourself. Learn more about me and all that I have going on on the website. MercedesEWilson.com. Give us your input, give us your show ideas, and put in prayer requests all right online. Thank you for tuning into the Mercedes Wilson Show, and we will see you next Tuesday from 1.30 to 2 p.m. Love you all. Captain Man is